This video is a quick test tube experiment to determine the plausibility of hydrogen production using a iron catalyst reaction. What we're going to do is heat this iron wool up with the blowtorch till it gets red hot. Hopefully that will take place anyway. And as that's happening, the water will start to boil in the flask and some steam will contact the hot iron wool. And we're going to try and see if we can get a little tiny hydrogen flame on the top of this thing here. I've seen this reaction in textbooks years ago in the old chemistry books. The apparatus is not quite set up this way, but I just want to give it a quick test and I thought it'd be an interesting little video to watch. The goal here is to produce some hydrogen gas.
so no observable hydrogen production took place there. Some of the little experiments that they show in some of the old chemistry books showed a similar apparatus producing a small amount of hydrogen gas that should have produced about a match size flame. Now, of course, this setup isn't quite properly rigged for that. One of the problems being that the steel wool used in this is not like the old steel wool. This is a, a newer stuff and it does burn, but it doesn't quite burn like the old stuff did in my opinion. It does burn pretty hot, but it leaves a lot more gray mass left over as if it's some kind of cheap metal alloy. So that could be part of the problem. My iron catalyst may have just failed. The iron catalyst may have not been big enough with the amount of steam being generated. And there goes my Pyrex beaker. Not too happy with uh, some of this Pyrex glassware that I have. I think it just needed annealed. I, I heard once you use a piece of glassware that it has to be annealed after that. And that was not done to this specific piece. So there you have it. Failed attempt to produce hydrogen gas using the iron, the incandescent iron catalyst reaction. Um, supposedly the military used this reaction to fill weather balloons on the in the field as well. So I just wanted to see if I could get a little tiny match flame on the top of this and I did not. I'll go ahead and post the video anyway just because it was kind of interesting to see the attempt. Something I've been wanting to do for a long time. I don't have all the glassware I need for this. But uh, I may attempt it one more time with a better setup.